Okay, we're gonna set up our Worm Factory 360. Um, I don't have my worms yet, they're gonna come in a couple days, but I figured we would get this thing set up. I've got a little corner here in the sunroom. It's completely shaded, but um, where we're gonna start, this is the base. And first of all, there's a spigot on here and it says closed. So we need to make sure we turn that. So open is facing out. I know you can't read that on this video, but it's etched in there. Um, so this allows, this is strictly for airflow purposes. Um, if it gets really, really moist, it will drain out the liquid at the very bottom of the tray. So they do recommend maybe keeping a little plastic cup underneath here. Um, but it's actually more for airflow entering the bottom of the tray. Okay, so this box came with a little manual here of how to set it up. So I'm just gonna follow those directions. Um, and when you start, you really only need one tray until the worms work through that and it gets full and then you add more trays. It came with four trays, um, but we will just be setting up the very bottom tray. So this little pamphlet shows what's included um, and what to do with it. Let's see here. So the first thing I need to do is it came with some coconut fibers. And they give you enough sturdy materials for to set up two trays. So here's a block of coconut, and the first thing I need to do is um, start soaking like half of it in water because I only need half a brick. So I'm going to soak it for a little bit and then break it in half. For the purposes of this video, I do have a little plastic bin here that I will just open this up. We're going to make a little bit of a mess today because we are inside. I live in a very hot area, so I cannot have my worms outside. So we're going to just let this soak up until we can get to a point where I can break off half of this brick. I don't know why they didn't tell me just to break it in the beginning. I guess it's not going to, huh? Okay, also in the very bottom, you have to put the worm ladder, which is just this little tray here that helps them climb up if they fall down to this little collection area down here with the water areas. Um, then... Then you will put your first tray on top of that, like so. Now the directions say for the first tray we want a piece, one or two sheets of dry newspaper on the very bottom. So let's get, this is only in the very first tray and this is the only time you do it is what the instructions say. So I'm going to see how I can fold this to fit in here. I guess I could have been prepared and done this ahead of time before I got on camera. I need a couple things that were over here. All right, doesn't have to be perfect. Then they want you to 
mix up um, what's going to be your first bedding and they send you the items for that. It's going to be the coconut fiber. You're going to use half the bag of paper shredding they sent you, one tablespoon of minerals, and then half a bag of the pumice they sent you, and they also want you to add one or two cupfuls of garden soil or compost to the bedding mixture. And it says this material contains organic organisms that will inoculate your worm composter with beneficial microbe ro, beneficial microbes that the worms depend on to help them digest their food. So I did go grab a little bit of soil from outside in the garden. In order to mix this up, I'm just going to make it easy on myself and put a container here. I did, um, this is half of the brick of the coconut fiber that I soaked in water and it's damp, but it's not soaking wet. So I'm going to put that in there. And then I just put the other half of the brick in a Ziploc baggie that I'll just keep it for the next tray. So they give you enough stuff to start two trays worth. Okay, so they give you a bag of pumice and they want you to use half of the bag. Let's see, I don't have a pair of scissors here or a knife. Let's see if I can get this open. Oh, there we go. So we just are going to use like half the bag of it, dump it in here. The reason I'm doing this in a separate container is so I can mix it up good without anything getting stuck on that newspaper or falling out or anything. So then I'm going to set, I think I'll just put it in this bag with this coconut fiber now that it's open. Um, they sent a little bag of paper shreddings. So I'm going to use half of that. you to use one to two tablespoons in each worm tray. Where this would have been nice if they would have sent it in a little either a reclosable bag or a container that I could shake out. I probably can find a container. Let me grab a tablespoon to measure and I'll be right back. Okay I'm back with my teaspoon here. Tablespoon. So a tablespoon, one to two tablespoons in each new worm tray. Okay. I think I'm probably going to do one tablespoon because, well, maybe I'll do one and a half. I'm pretty sure I did not order enough worms to start. All right. I will at some point transfer this to some type of container with a lid so that these, uh, this rock dust is not going all over the place. Okay. And then we need, here's my soil I got from outside. And do one to two. Well, this is about perfect. This is about one and a half. Oh, there's one. Yep. One and a half will be fine. So this said one to two. So that's about the perfect amount of soil from outside. I just took that from my garden uh, to introduce some of the microbes to help the wormies. So then they just want you to mix it up. Get it mixed nice and well. These paper shreddings, I think, could probably be shredded a little better. They're kind of, you can see that it was supposed to be shreddings, but honestly, it's all just stuck together. So I'm just tearing it a little bit so it can 
mix up better in the soil. And by the way, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never done this before. I have watched some other YouTube videos, which I found very interesting. I like to watch the ones where they do a time lapse of the worms, and you can see them working through all the the food waste and turning it into compost. It's awesome. Okay, so. I got everything. I got the pumice, I've got the mineral dust, I have the paper shavings and the coconut coir. So this is basically, I guess the brown matter, the bedding for them. And then once I get my worms, I will add their food and I will not need to do any separate bedding at that point in time. But from subsequent times on, you should be adding 50% green, 50% brown. So your brown can be leaves or paper shreddings or things like that. Okay, this is mixed up really well. So I'm just going to dump this in here. Once I get the worms, obviously I'll put the worms in here and I will feed them. And the instructions say to feed them in one corner, one or two cupfuls of food. So I will obviously video that when I get my worms. Um, the last thing to keep it moist, take five or 10 pages of newspaper, no slick color paper, fold the paper so it fits in the tray and wet it until it's damp but not dripping and then you cover you cover it with that so let's see what we got here one two three four well i have four paper four pages which will work so we're going to try and cover this. fold this to the proper size into the paper here. Just get a little bit of water. And that will keep everything nice and moist. That's it for now until I get my worms. And then you can put the lid on it. And the lid also has some instructions on here, the food list and what you can feed them and not feed them. And so I have three extra bins and then it came with these little tools uh, to scrape and to rake through. And it also came with a thermometer to keep them at the proper temperature. I am indoors in the sunroom and it is always about 75 in here. It's a little hotter in the afternoon, but 
way too hot outside for them. It's about, it's over 100 outside, so they can't go outside. But here is the thermometer, and it has little pictures of worms on there. Okay, so I'm going to read the rest of my material and wait for my worms to get here, and I will video when I add my worms and feed them for the first time. So I'm going to make a top tray um, that has completely full of paper shreddings. And so actually my top tray is not going to be my tray of worms that I'm feeding. It is going to be a tray of paper shavings. And the reason for that is um, I saw in another video that that will help keep down on fruit flies or any other bugs or insects that are trying to get in there and access your yummy food that you're feeding your worms. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try that. I have some paper shreddings here from my shredder, which I shredded some paper bags. And then I also just have regular paper in here. But I'm going to go ahead and just fill this top tray with paper shreddings. That does give me one less tray to work with um, as you go along in the months and you, when the trays are ready to harvest. It gives me one less tray. However, you can order extra trays if you want to have more trays going at the same time. But I would rather avoid the bugs in the beginning than trying to try to get rid of them later. So that's going to be my first tray. Is Paper shavings, then when I go to feed, all I'll do is I'll just lift up this whole tray of paper shavings and lid and get down to where my worms will be. Till next time.